Chris, just give us a, a brief overview of your role here this weekend with RGMMC. So I'm the chairman of the stewards. That means in the team uh, we make decisions on reports we get. And I'm the chairman, so I have the last vote if there's something we have some problems with. So you're mainly looking at driving standards? Yeah, sure. Uh, how it works, we, we get reports from the race director, we get reports from the judge of facts or from scrutineering. So then we investigate, we call in the drivers and the entrant. We have a hearing, so what uh, could explain what was happening. And then with the three stewards, we make a decision. So be behind you, there's a, a bank of, of screens. There are cameras everywhere on the circuit. So in the races, uh, you've got a team looking at the uh, looking at the pictures, and they come back to you with incidents that you might want to look at. Yeah, sure. So as working, we have judge of facts on track. We have a race director on the track. He calls in an incident, and he said in turn number two, first lap, please investigate between card number X and A. So here they investigate. Then they go back to the race director to say, okay, the incident is heavy enough to give it a warning flag, so we get a warning board, it's a five seconds time penalty. Or he said it's too heavy to get a warning flag and then they send me the report. And then we come to look to the incident, then we make a decision. And it's, it's a fantastic uh, help for you to have these cameras everywhere because you can replay everything, look at it as many times as you want. Yeah. Uh, a few years ago, we only had the reports of the clerk of the course or the uh, the track marshals, and we had to deal with it. We didn't have any proof. Now we have about 30 cameras on the track, so we can see and review and review and review as much as we can. We, we want. Even when we have time at the end of the races, we let the drivers see the video so he can learn out to see what mistake he made. So when you get the, the drivers and uh, their representatives to discuss a, a, an incident that's happened on track, uh, what kind of reactions do you get? Do you, uh, I guess it can get quite heated sometimes. Do you have to try and keep everybody calm and, and stay on top of that? Yeah, they always try to say, ah, oh, we've been pushed. And, but now they already know we have cameras and they are quite easy with it because sometimes they are angry. It's normally get a time penalty or you get excluded, whatever you did. Uh, but most of them said 95% they accept it immediately. So they give, I asked them also what's happened, please explain me. So, so I can compare with the, the video we saw. If he's trying to lie or give us another story, then it, was, uh, it really happened. Listen, um, thanks for your time, Chris, and explaining what goes on behind the scenes. Uh, it's an important job that you've got because you are there um, not just to penalise but to help everybody and, and to police the, uh, the whole racing and hopefully make it cleaner and fairer for, for everybody. Yeah, we try to do it and it's done with much of happy.